So I'm here today at Matsura UK in Colville. I'm taking a look at this machine behind me, which is the MT200 Muratec machine. I want to look at this um, in a slightly different way. Now, uh, currently we're obviously in a pretty difficult situation here uh, within industry and everybody's looking to maximize their floor space and really that's one of the messages I want to put across uh, about this machine. Now you may have a current uh, workshop at the moment where you've got maybe two, three, four turning centers, some may have mill drill, some may have y-axis, uh, they may have none of those things and you may have several different machines doing several different components with bar feeds, without bar feeds. Now this particular machine here uh, could be a way for you to rethink completely how you do things and of course these days uh, we talk a lot about reassuring especially especially in the current circumstances you know work coming back from overseas to be manufactured here in the UK and in order to do that you need to be extremely competitive and in order to be competitive you need to make sure that these spindles continually turn but when they make parts they make them precisely which is what is really in uh, Muratec's DNA having been making machines like this for around about 30 years and of course machines like this are actually made in Japan. So why do you think differently? Well, if you look at this machine, what I can tell you is this has got an 81 millimeter bar capacity here. So you can add a bar feed to the machine and you can bar feed up to 81 mil bar. Now let's say for example you wanted to do billets, instead change the direction of your manufacturing, you've got different components come into the machine shop, you don't want to run bar. Then uh, to my left here we have a stacking system where you would stack billets. Now you can take on this particular uh, stacking system here up to 15 kilos um, per, uh, per gripper. So that's 30 kilos in total, which means that you can then feed this machine with billets as well as bar. Now once you've fed the machine, you need to be able to make the parts. And when you're making the parts, you want this much sophistication within the capabilities of the machine as possible and this machine has that as well. You've got two turrets uh, both with 24 point indexing, you've got two y-axis plus or minus 40 mil, you've got driven tools, you've got two spindles which really means if you drew a line down, uh, a diagonal line down the machine it means you've essentially got two machines here uh, which gives you the total flexibility that you could, uh, you could need. Now when you look at the machine's capability as I said at the start of this you might have two three four machines in a machine shop practicing the manufacturing of different components you could bring all of those into one in a much smaller footprint and run it unmanned run it overnight press the button at the end of the day go home and come in in the morning to a stacker system full of completed precise components we are in difficult times at the moment, there's no secret. You may have to review how you manufacture things in order to remain competitive. And this could be an opportunity and a possibility for you. This particular machine is here in stock. They do have other machines from Eurotech uh, here available to see as well at Matsura in Colville. And of course, a business like this is here to support you commercially during these difficult times. So uh, it's an opportunity not only to embrace the latest technology, uh, but also talk to them about how they can uh, hold your hand on the journey of investment.